I'm sitting here with council member Bill Fish. Bill, a lot of people are upset about their utility bills and um, the question that we at VeroNews.com would like to ask you whether or not the city should stay in the utility business. Well, let me say a couple things about that. One of which is there's a lot of emphasis right now because of the FMPA gas contract that they signed. And uh, couldn't have happened at a worse time. So everybody's real excited over that, rightfully so. Um, but in the meantime, for our future, we have signed a contract with Orlando. That was that whole move was started before I got on council, but we actually signed the contract since I've been on council. It is a long-term contract. Um, so uh, when we bid that job out, there are a lot of companies that stepped into the plate, which says this is a viable plan. Would you support the regionalization of the water and sewer department of the county? Well, I stood in front of Bodie County Commissioners a couple weeks ago, and the costs are kind of, we don't have a lot of costs right now. And I know tomorrow at the council meeting, uh, we're going to have a presentation given to us by uh, West Davis. And I need to see the costs and I need to show which pocket is money coming from. Is it coming from my pocket um, on the city? Is it going to come out of my pocket as a city resident taxpayer? Or is it coming out of because uh, I also live in the county. Even though I'm in the city, I pay county taxes. Does it come out of there? And Joe Baird told me, nope, doesn't come out of there. So I left me kind of confused where it's coming from because we have a working plant. We may not like where it is, but it's a working plant. Nobody likes it where it is. I don't think anybody would sign up for it and say, oh, we're happy with where it is. Nobody's going to do that. Okay. We would like to see it gone, but at what expense and who pays for it? All right. In um, discussing, you've just gone through budget hearings, and the budget just started on October the 1st. Where did you see that the, um, um, did you see where the budget could be trimmed? We are using furloughs to trim the budget. We've already trimmed the budget, and we're using furloughs. That's not sustainable we've really got to take a look at the following year budget. We'll monitor with quarterly meetings like we did last year, uh, how we doing on this year's budget. But you can't keep coming to people saying you gotta take more furloughs. That's just not sustainable. That, that's not the way to run a city. So you didn't find any other areas where- Oh, we trimmed a lot of stuff. Oh, but one of the problems, and I ran on a, on a platform of maintain the facilities that you have. So if you start skimming off of maintaining what you have, sooner or later that collapses. And one of the things that sticks in my mind is when we were asked to buy a $240,000 garbage truck. That was probably a couple months ago. And I said, wow, do we really need this truck? I mean, is this, and we talk about ages of things. Well, the county at their budget chose this year not to buy a fire truck. So that's in the same vein. You can't keep that up forever. That's going to jump up and bite you at some point. Sooner or later, a garbage truck doesn't work and you didn't buy the other one. You didn't maintain the pipes in the city. They collapse or whatever. You've got to keep that up. That's expensive to keep that up. Okay. Whether you're talking pipes in the ground, garbage truck, fire truck, you have to maintain what you have. Okay. And I ran on that platform and, I, and that's you have to maintain your facilities. You own them. Historically, all the city council meetings were held at 7 o'clock p.m. on the first Tuesday and the third Tuesday of the month. And over the past year and a half, or perhaps two years, the city council meetings have been changed to 9.30 in the morning. And a lot of members of the public have been unhappy about this change. Would you consider changing the meetings back to 7 o'clock p.m. so more members of the public? can have input to the city council? Well, let me first start off personally. My other job is a substitute. Nobody wants a substitute at 9 o'clock at night. They want it 7 o'clock in the morning. So that sort of rules that out for me. 
So that's just a personal issue. Um, the argument is, well, the staff is all available. If some question comes up, there's more staff to be able to answer the question. I would like to see a mixture. I was not happy with coming on in days. Not happy about that at all. And that's both personal as well as I thought we had different people to come talk to us at night and versus the daytime. I would like to see possibly they alternate. But if a major issue comes up, you know, where would we draw the most people? I've seen the place filled up in the daytime. I've seen it filled up at night. People make an effort to get there when it's really important that they get there. So I can't answer that question definitively, but I think we ought to run a mixture of the two. Okay. That's what we should do. And the other problem that, we, that you didn't address was when we do the Tuesday morning, it's the same time as the Board of County Commissioners meet. So the only choice I have is to watch them because I pay more taxes to the county than I do to the city. And so I'm county resident. Look on your tax bill. You pay taxes to the county. Don't you? You do, don't you? <laughs> well, I'm the city resident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As a city resident, we're still part of the county. They didn't, they didn't just carve out a little area and say, okay, you're off on your own. You're only on your own, sort of. We still have county... Um, County Fire and Rescue, we have two stations right in the city. They're here. They're us. So, so that makes it more of a problem also when the county commission meets at the same time. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. It meets at the same meeting. time. Who made this uh, the motion to change the meetings? I don't know who really made that motion to change the meetings. The logic behind it was staff is available. So it was more for the convenience of the staff yes. rather than the convenience of the public. And we got public out either way. So I, what I said before, I'll say again, I'd like to see a mixture. Okay. And so once in a while we could go sit in on a county meeting, but you know maybe we ought to take a look and see, get off of the Tuesday thing altogether and get to some other day where we could attend county meetings. I did that recently because we didn't have a meeting, so I went to the county meeting ran into all these people with job signs over the sand. Well, I wasn't there for that. Okay. Thank you very much, Bill. Bill Fish, running for City Council. Thank you. Thank you.